Hello YouTube friends and welcome back to the channel. So on today's video we're going to install the heat shield installation kit from DEI. That's Design Engineering Incorporated and I'll put a link up here for their website uh, and for the product that I bought. Today's background video is the Ketorific Journey with Mike. Now it's a little different than what I usually do in a background video because usually I'm doing other motor vloggers, but uh, Mike has a fantastic channel. I've been following Mike. Mike, Mike follows me and, uh, um, and we chat and, uh, you know, I've lost 40 pounds. Uh, I give Mike some of the credit because I've learned a lot of tips and things from him. So I follow him uh, faithfully uh, and, and, and I've cooked some of the recipes that he, that he does on here. Now, Mike, at, at, he's a reformed fat man, as he calls himself. Mike has lost over 100 pounds since May of 2018. So, Mike knows what he's talking about, and he's a great guy. So, please check him out, especially if you want to try to lose a little weight, want to learn a little bit more about keto, Mike's the guy. Uh, I'll also mention another Mike while I'm at it. Digging my shirt from Ace Cafe Bikes. Thanks for the shirt, Mike. Uh, and also have a fantastic uh, beer glass. Go to his site. You should get some. Yes, I bought them. And yes, they were well worth it. The shirt is a very high quality. Uh, it has a bike on the back of it. And like, yeah. So, Ace Cafe Bikes. All right. So let's get started. So guys, the audio wasn't that great. And I, I don't think the video is that great of me removing the heat shields. So they're just hose clamps. You remove the heat shields and then you prepare the heat shields for the insulation. Uh, the insulation is held on by the tabs that you'll see here in just a second. So I wanted to show you what's in the box. So, and I've got the instructions here. I know it's against man law, but I'm using them for this. Design Engineering Incorporated. So here's our instructions. And what comes in the box is the insulation. And then here's all the metal pieces. Now you have to lay the metal pieces out flat and smooth, smooth them out that you need for this. So let's get that done. There we go. All right, so I don't have my mic on with me. We're just gonna do it this way. I'm gonna talk a little louder and I have to keep switching cameras, guys. So, we're bending our tabs off. And again, the sole purpose behind these clips is just to make sure that it holds the insulation down. There we go. Oh, come on now. There we go. And then it just bends into place like that. There we go. So we've got that piece done and we've got this piece done. You see? So after lots of cursing and screaming and yelling and almost pitching a childish fit, I finally got it finished. It I'd like to say that it wasn't that bad, and it really wasn't, except this piece here. This piece here, me having to take this off, you know, that was the hardest part. And it, I'm going to have to go back through here and just make sure I've wiped everything down. There, I touched it again. Yeah, guys, if you do something like this and you remove your heat shields, make sure you wipe all of your skin oil off of it, uh, because otherwise you'll have those discolored you know, the uh, heat places, it'll, it'll burn the finish. So I've already wiped it down all the way up underneath and everywhere else, but I'm going to do it again just because I just touched it and just, uh, it won't hurt anything to do it again. So I'm going to go wipe everything down again. I did get the fringe cut off of the seat while I was at it. Can't even tell it was even there. Much happier with that. Uh, haven't got a shipment notification on my backrest yet. And it's, uh, it's bothering me, but you know, they, they told me it could take a few weeks. So 
Uh, but they also told me that once it hits production and they hit my credit card, then, you know, it's in production. I don't know how long, how long would it take a company to run two backrests through that have no frills on them. They're just plain. Uh, we don't know. But, you know, Corbin's a big company or a good company and they're busy. I'm confident with those guys as well. So thanks, guys. I will take a ride tomorrow and... Let me turn the camera around. So thanks, guys. Hey, I'm going to take a ride tomorrow, and I'll let you know how well they work. Uh, again, here's the info on them. I don't know if it was here or here. It could be there. Or it might be right in the middle. Right in the middle, yeah. Uh, that's what I'll do. I'll put, the, uh, I'll put the specs on it, the heat differences on it uh, that, that they advertise, and then I'll let you know what I think. I did have a uh, subscriber ask me about the heat, uh, and he was trying to decide between a Challenger and a Chieftain. Now, I can tell you this bike's never been as hot as that Ultra Classic, not even remotely close to as hot. Do I feel heat from it? Well, I'm straddling an engine. That's what I told him, uh, which I wasn't, I wasn't trying to be smart because, and he, he knew I wasn't trying to be smart. I was just making the comment that, you know, you're sitting on an engine. Uh, it's not cool, but uh, now my, my wife, uh, Kathy said that riding on the back, she don't feel any heat at all, except heat from the air, from the sun. She don't feel any heat from the motorcycle, which is the first one she's ever noticed that with. Uh, the Can-Am put off heat. The Can-Am would burn my ankle. You know, I would wear shorts on the Can-Am because you're not gonna fall over. Uh, I know we can argue about somebody hit you and all that stuff, but uh, from a balance perspective, you're not gonna lay it down. And uh, it, man, it would roast my, my thigh, my leg. Um, so, we'll see how this one works out. Um, you know, it couldn't hurt. And, uh, and they do have a, a good reputation, so We'll see how it works out, and I will ride tomorrow, and I'll do another video probably tomorrow night or Saturday or Sunday, and uh, and let you guys know what my thoughts are on it. I'll do a ride video, so I'll ride with the camera, uh, and uh, and I'll tell you real time what what I what it feels like. All right, thanks again for watching, guys, and we hope to see you real soon. Take care.